My mother is, um, I guess the best way to describe her would be to say that she's like a force of nature. Um, she actually went back to do her master's at Harvard Medical School when she was in her 60s. She is hands down probably the most inspirational woman I know and uh, I wish to embody just an ounce of who she is because she's amazing. Unconditional love. So she has a um, huge amount of unconditional love for her family, for her kids. Um, she gives her whole life and soul and body and heart and spirit to her family. My oldest brother, her oldest child, suffered a spinal cord, spinal cord injury when he was 18 years old um, and became paralyzed from the chest down. And uh, really she's been his, his, um, his partner throughout the whole, uh, you know, the whole past two decades while he's been living as a paraplegic. It was to stay out of the sun, um, yeah, to stay out of the sun and not take sun, but I, I, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't listen to that <laughs> as I used to. Put my face directly in the sun with no sunscreen or protection. But I would say, yeah, that is her best beauty advice, and, and maybe in another way, I was thinking about this question, um, she always tells me to put my hair up, and I'm not doing that today, but she always you know, told me to put my hair up and that, you know, natural is, is beauty. The best piece of advice I ever received was, yeah, from, from my mom I would say the best piece of advice, funny enough it comes from her, um, is that to stay positive and, and to believe in yourself and that, you know, to, f to follow that passion inside of you, whatever it may be. Um, doesn't matter what you do in life, as long as you do it with passion and you do it with love. If you believe in yourself and, and you follow that passion, you follow that fire inside your belly, you know, the, the world is your oyster and, and you can really accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish in life and you will be successful no matter what it is that you do. The hardest lesson I ever learned was um, that life is not a straight line and it's not predictable and it doesn't necessarily go as planned. Um, I learned that with my firstborn son. I was pregnant, I had a super easy pregnancy um, everything was great. I was expecting to be uh, delivering and a first-time mom with absolutely everything normal. And lo and behold, a week after he was born, um, he fell sick and it turned out he had a life-threatening heart condition and was on the verge of dying and needed open heart surgery. Um, yeah, and today we live with him who's amazing and, and recovered, but he lives with um, this heart condition and he will have a lifelong um, attention and care but yeah it taught me that life is not as planned or as predicted and that it's not a straight line and you kind of just have to go with the flow and take take each day at a time but stay positive as well To listen to that voice inside of yourself and follow that passion and that desire and just go with it and not let go of that. And really um, follow the fire inside of your belly that you may have and just go with it and, and not give up. And if it's as simple as I want to start a company but I don't know how, maybe just trademarking the name and setting up a website, however simple it may be. Um, just do it and, and just follow that passion and that desire to go with it. I hope it would be having left a positive impact in the world. Um, and I really think that um, that's kind of what I put into my job uh, having started the Walkabout Foundation and working with our charity um, every day. It's, being able to leave a positive impact in the world and, and change the world, even if it's just one person, uh, one wheelchair. Um, but yeah, leaving that legacy behind of having made a change and a difference in the world for the better. Oh, um, I was saying that, yeah, so I love designers like Mary Kutransu and Mira Mikati who are fun and 
colorful and full of print and, and life and joy and uh, whenever I'm up for, you know, killing it, I want to wear one of their outfits. I was thinking about this, really like any kind of Latin music, but uh, I have to say that whenever I put on like Shakira, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and her waka waka, she does it for me.